All right, friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at an estate sale in Marysville, Washington, and guess what? They advertised a whole bunch of military stuff. And this guy was a hoarder. I mean, it says on the website there's gonna be 20 people let in at a time because there's just so many hazards in the way and because there's just boxes and stuff everywhere. So let's get in there and see what we can find. So I waited, well, first of all, I showed up like 30 minutes late, hoping there wouldn't be a line. But because there was so much stuff that they were only letting 20 people in at a time. So I got on the waiting list. I was number 70 and I waited well over an hour to get in there. Now, when I finally got in, it was packed. There was tripping hazards. There were signs on the door saying, enter at your own risk. People everywhere, stuff everywhere. Um, rude people, of course, they're always is at these things. Um, just comes with the territory. It's like a feeding frenzy. Sharks, sharks and blood in the water. But lots and lots of military equipment. Like, I couldn't believe it. If I had known how much some of these bulletproof vests and uniforms are worth, I would have kept a lot of my old stuff. Nice wool blanket right there, six dollars. Four or five of those blankets there. Sixty for that jacket. 125. Look at all these cool thermos. Nice collection. Five dollars on that one. That one's beat. Just stuff packed everywhere. Finally got in this closet, it took forever. There was a guy that had a box of books and he was looking up every single one. I walked through the whole house and came back and he was still there. I waited a couple more minutes and he finally was done looking up all the books he was gonna get and got it out of the way so I could get in there and see what this stuff was worth. Awesome old safes. I have no idea how I would get that home. I didn't get too much footage in the garage with the tools because there was just so many people in there. It was crazy. Look at all this military equipment. Isn't that cool? I never see this. The guy that lived here was a retired chief petty officer. Straight up prepper, just stuff everywhere. Food, CBs, ammo, gun cleaner, rifle kits, you name it, he had it. His area upstairs with his desk, we're gonna get to it. It reminded me of that scene from The Last of Us where that old guy was up there with the, uh, the rifle. Remember that when they were trying to leave, um, was it Boston? The old guy with the rifle up in his little attic, taking shots at them. And they're trying to escape. These were cool. A lady was telling me that they were, um, they use those in like hospitals and stuff. And they cook for everybody. So heavy. It was 20 bucks for the small one.
I made I made two friends at this estate sale waiting in line. He did have a lot of Jeep parts, and that was because he had an old um, old military Jeep in his driveway, but we just missed it. That's like the one, one thing the family kept. That and his guns. Naturally. Some Tupperware. Actually, I just read an article that Tupperware is going to be going out of business. So better get your Tupperware now before everyone starts buying it up. So much Tupperware in this house. Probably things he collected all his time in the Navy, getting shipped overseas and whatnot. Two dollars, a very heavy beer mug. Some pineapple pecan cake. I was gonna get that jar for 50 bucks, but too expensive. I wanted that from the pictures they posted on the state sale. And by the way, I use estatesales.net. Does anyone else know of any sites? I've tried Facebook Marketplace and searched them in the past, but then I just wind up on like people's crappy garage sales that they call estate sales and I show up and it's like, really, I drove all the way out here, middle of nowhere for this. Some books. He had a whole bunch of books on like psychedelics and whatnot and like alien posters, but the people that got in the state cell first, they all left with just like bags of that stuff. So there obviously there was nothing left by the time I got in there. Which is okay, I hope they make a lot of money off of it. This is cool. Cigarettes? What is that even? Does that mean there's cigarettes in there? Is that like an MRE for getting your tobacco fix? I don't know. Maybe I should have bought that. There's a chief mug. A chief petty officer. Quite a few RC cars there. Cabbage Patch Kid. Some little boots. Little Tonka truck. Get your Tonka on. There's a shroomy. Told you, that's all that was left. Hockey puck. The local teams at Everett Silver Tips. Get a lot of their stuff, some t shirts and whatnot. Peter Rabbit. Peter. I think a bunch of little Garfields hanging around. This was a stinky room, I remember. I can smell it from, from here, watching the back. I can smell it. It's Anastasia, yeah. Happy Meal toy. Some computer games. Some guides. <laughs> All those vintage military hats are always cool. Cool to see. Takes me back to my Navy days. The USS Blue Ridge. Pencil sharpener. If you got a little 
mustache, 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 belt buckle, for your little chief outfit. Oh yeah, I dug through all these little knickknacks. That's what I like to do. Get in there and dig. There was like eight workers for this estate sale too. I've never seen that many. I usually see like a one, two, maybe three, but they had eight all over the place. So that also contributed to how many people could get in there. This is the only sale like within quite a ways from um, where I live. That's probably why there were so many people from all around coming to this one. Sharpener. More hockey stuff. It was so fun digging through all this stuff that he had. Some really cool stuff from overseas. Gumby! Sewing machine. He had quite a few sewing machines actually. Very handy guy. Oh, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. More computer games. You think you like Tomb Raider? Christmas stuff. Lots of Christmas. Very fancy jackets. Very expensive too. And not my size. Oh yeah, cribbage. I love playing cribbage. I saw a lady walk out with a huge, nice wood cribbage board. It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous, you hear? Super jealous of her find. Hope she gets a lot of money for it. Should have asked her where her antique booth was, see if I can show up and buy it later. Shower shoes. We call them shower shoes in the in the Navy because you won't dare walk in the shower barefooted. Mm -mm. No, sir. Not unless you want to catch some some kind of fungus or something. Mm, that runs rampant, especially on the ships. Ugh. I remember having to take a shower and you're just about getting down and getting out and the ship goes to the left and you bump up against the wall and you, oh, you gotta start all over and wash your arm again Ugh. nasty place nuts beautiful quilt these are all like vintage antique bottles they're all empty they wanted four bucks a piece cool to see those I wonder if he made his own 
cologne or maybe maybe him and his wife made their own perfume all right so we did pretty good there i was very overwhelmed a lot of people a lot of stuff to look at but anyways the first thing i got was this blanket nice wool blanket it was six dollars um, I got it. So this is what they issue in when you go to boot camp. Um, well, I, I was in the Navy. I went to Navy boot camp. Um, this is what we used in our boot camp. Um, you got a sheet and you got this. So this is all you really had for uh, for comfort. Yeah, this was your comfort. So I got it for like a nostalgic kind of feeling. Um, probably end up sharing it with my cat. So we'll see how that goes. Um, next thing I got was this pencil sharpener. Isn't it cool? It's a little globe, but you put your little pencil in there, sharpens your pencil. I got another pencil sharpener. This little car. This was a dollar. All these pencil sharpeners I got were a dollar. Motorcycle, pencil sharpener again. And these got some weight to them. They're like, I don't know, what are they, brass? They're brass. Very cool. Um, Kitchy Peter Rabbit. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Oh, there's a year on this little guy. Let me see what the year says. The year is... No year. It just says Peter Rabbit, a Beatrix Potter toy by Eden. Eden. So, no year on it, but very cute. Very cute. cute. Going in the collection. Um lighters or uh, lighters matches this jaegermeister matches let me take off this 50 cents for this box of matches now this guy was obviously if you're uh, i mean if you're watching the vid the whole video he was in the the military so he must have got these in germany it still has the the sticker on it sealed 30 cents can't beat it super cool never see stuff like that or i don't anyways you guys might this, I don't know, I think this is from the Philippines. Again, it's another uh, matches set. And I just love the artwork. Like, look at that artwork, isn't that cool? Very cute. Um, next, I got Gumbay, Gumbay. 50 cents for Gumbay. And then I got three Garfields. Woo, woo. Oh man, I love Garfield. So cute. 50 cents a piece. 50 cents, 50 cents. Yeah, these are going in the collection. And lastly, I got some wallpaper for a dollar. Look at the print. Isn't that pretty? I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. We shall see, but yeah, wallpaper. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it and I hope to see you in the next one. All right, bye.